personal note is all there is to it. It's all there ever is to it. The stupidity of the government, the self-satisfaction and unwillingness to believe that anything done by a certain class of individuals can be wrong. You see, you can't fight this thing on an impersonal basis. It's very, very personal. These are real people with real names, real positions and jobs. See, the, the aspect of, of having this nation owned by the American people, it's not an academic matter. You know, the, the judges, they're just going to go behind closed doors, deliberate, serve up a verdict, and then the winners buy a loser's dinner. That's how it works. She almost convinced me. Almost. I'm John Charlie. So I'm telling you the truth. Please. I gotta be drunk for that. I gotta be drunk because, um, I'm a coward. But you know that. That's why you keep me around. That's why you keep anyone around for that matter, because you like being around your inferiors, Charlie. You can't handle hanging around your equals. That's why you ran away from Emily. Because you can't stand that. You don't even acknowledge that they exist. All the big people in your life are dead. I told you that. And when you talk about the American people, you talk about it as if... as if they're some sort of prize of yours, and, and then they'll follow you blindly. And the fact of the matter is, when you find out that that's not the case, you'll lose complete interest in them. Remember the hardworking man? The backbone of America? The one you so diligently defended? What about him? Let me tell you something about him. He's getting organized. He's going to form trade unions. And there are going to be labor movements. And all of your underprivileged that you so dearly grab onto, once they get together, it's going to be bigger than your privilege. And then I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to have to sail away to some island and become king of the monkeys. Finished? Yeah. Good. You want me to go to Chicago now? By all means, I will let you go to Chicago. As a matter of fact, you're going to love it there. The wind comes howling in off the lake. They hardly have an opera season at all, you know. <laughs> Good luck if anyone's heard of Lobster Newberg. It's all right. It's all right, child. What are you going to do about Emily? She doesn't love me, and so be it. Charlie, it's love on your own terms. It's always been like that. <clears throat> if you get hurt, Charlie, everyone's got to cater to you. And you don't care who gets hurt in the process. That's the truth. It's not that simple. As a matter of fact, it is simple. You're making it into a complex issue. You see, the society girl can't stand the gap. It's just fact. She's worried about too many other things, like social status. What people are saying on the porches at Southampton. Gossip at dinner. If she leaves me, then so be it. You know what, as a matter of fact, I've already left her. Don't worry about it, Brad. I'll live. I'll live. I know you. I'll tell you what. I've been analyzed an awful lot this evening. 
So what say you that we have one more brandy? And a little toast. Love on my terms. Because that's all a person knows is their own terms.